Hi everybody, so I'm going to be reviewing a few of my favorite items from July's Ipsy um, Beach Beauty Bag. Um, one of the things I want to say that I really love is the Soy Renewal um, Beach Spray by Healthy Sexy Hair. Um, I really didn't think I was going to like this product at all. My hair is so fine and straight. I don't know if you can tell just how like fine it is. I have hardly any hair and it's so straight. Um, so I just washed my hair like regular conditioned and I just misted this like it says on damp hair when you get out of the shower and I didn't do anything to my hair and it just is like wavy. I don't know if you can really see it in the video but it just has like a little bit of wave and I literally did nothing. I just sprayed it. I like squeezed it a little bit and that was it and it's done. It's like just beachy wave hair. It smells really good in the bottle. Um, you can't really smell it after it's on your hair for a while, which is fine with me. Um, it smells really good, like a florally, like beach smell. Um, it's perfect because now that I have two kids, I never have any time to do my hair. So it's fine with me. Um, I, I'm definitely going to be buying a full size bottle of this. This is worth about like $5. Um, for 1.7 ounces and the big bottles for 5.1 ounces are about 20 but I feel like you can also use it on dry hair it says you can just mist it at the roots for like extra volume it smells really good and I forgot how good it smelled but yeah it smells really good and your hair is not like sticky or anything I know it says like salt spray you think like beach, but it has argan oil, so it's just good for you. Um, definitely gonna be getting a full size bottle of that. The next thing is we got I got a little bottle of the Benetint from Benefit Cosmetics. It's just um, it can be used as a lip or cheek stain. Uh, I don't really like the look of it on my lips, so I just use it on the cheeks. And it says you're supposed to do three stripes on your cheek, uh, and then blend it in with your finger. But when I did that, it just, it stained my whole finger red for like a whole day. So, what I like to do now is just swipe it two stripes. I already have some on my cheek from this morning and it's still there. You can see on this cheek. And I just take a cotton ball. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. And just dab it onto the apples. and it will stay all day. It stays even better if you put it on before you put your foundation because it really like sinks into your skin. It smells like just a light rose tint formula and it's like just budge proof and smudge proof so you just get like a light rosy tint to your face. This is just from earlier but and if you're going to do it on your lips, I suggest putting on something first and a Q-tip and like dabbing it around. It didn't really do anything. Um, this is a really small bottle, but I mean you can see how tiny it is compared to my finger. But it will last a while, I think. They have the full-size bottle. It's $30. Kind of expensive, but it would probably last you your whole life, seriously, if you just use it for your cheeks. Um, the next thing... I already did a little bit of an eye look. Honestly, I'm really bad at doing eye makeup. So we got this little palette from BH Cosmetics. It has um, the Malibu, San Francisco, and Hollywood. Hollywood's like a light purple or like a medium violet purple. San Francisco is um, like a coppery brown shimmer, and Malibu is a gold shimmer. So, um, they're okay. The ones that show up the best are Malibu and San Francisco. The Hollywood um, doesn't show up that well unless you put it over a primer. Like this eye, I put a primer on and you can see it shows up a lot better than this eye, which I didn't put a primer on this side. So the purple shows up a lot better if you put it on. And that's pretty much the extent of my makeup capabilities. So, um, I mean, this is worth about three dollars. Their single eye pan shadows are about 
like a dollar each. So, um, but that's cute. It's like not colors I normally would have tried. So I like it. Um, the next thing we got is we all got a Pop Beauty crayon from Pop Beauty. And I got the Fuchsia Flirt color, which is fine. I have already have a color similar to this, so it's kind of bombed. I was hoping to get the coral, but that's okay. Um, it applies okay to your lips. I mean, it really sinks into my lip lines. Maybe that's just me. But it's like a really bright pink, and it's matte. I just like to dab it in. And you can't see it right now on the camera, but it's probably all in my lip lines. So I just take um, this Carmex Moisture Plus. If you've never tried these little things from Carmex, they are freaking awesome. This is just the clear, but I also have a pink one that looks just like this, but it's so, so shiny. I don't know, you can't see it in my hand because it's clear, but... and they just feel so good on your lips. So it's like this color in like a Carmex chapstick. It's awesome. Anyway, so I just do that. Oh my God, I got all of my lip at the end. And those are my favorite products from this month's Ipsy Beauty Bag. And the link will be below if you want to sign up for Ipsy. It's $10 a month. You get lots of great samples like this, some full-size products. And that's that. Thanks for stopping by.